We start in India and the iconic Howrah Bridge in Kolkata that became the scene of tragedy. A dangerous underwater escape that went horribly wrong. Indian stuntman Choncho Lahiri, who called himself the wizard Mandrake, said he wanted to revive interest in magic by replicating a Houdini-inspired trick. Under the bridge near Kolkata, Lahiri was tied up with a heavy rope and steel chains secured by six locks. He was then lowered by crane into the Hooghly River. After 10 minutes, he still hadn't re-emerged to the horror of onlookers, which included members of his family. Rescue teams were mobilized and yesterday, they found Choncho Lahiri's body still in chains, washed up a kilometer from where he entered the water. This wasn't Lahiri's first underwater stunt and he knew the risks. In a turbulent river, it will be very hard to open the knots and locks, but I will open them. And if I do that, it's magic. If not, then it's tragic. Prophetic words almost. DW correspondent Sonia Falnikar is standing by for us in Delhi. Sonia, good to see you. What do we know about the details of this case? Well, Brish, uh, police in the state of West Bengal say Chonchal Lahiri had indeed uh, taken permission from the authorities, in this case, both the Kolkata police as well as the Thus authorities, in order to do this stunt. Uh, but they say that in his permission letter, he really didn't say that he was planning to jump into the water, but rather the stunt would be carried out on a boat or a vessel. Another police official has been quoted as saying that, you know, he did mention the letter very vaguely that there was an extra act, but he didn't really spell out what that was going to be. Um, another report uh, here in an Indian newspaper suggests that Lahiri also wore rather heavy and cumbersome clothing and guards when he was lowered into the water. So that would have made it very difficult to swim in the strong current of the Hooghly River. But there's also reports coming out, Sonia, that this wasn't the first time he was attempting this stunt. That's right, Barish. It really wasn't the first time. But we have to also remember that Chonchal Lahiri's career really seems to have, you know, been marked by a series of, of hits and misses. You know, for example, just before this act, Lahiri told a reporter that he had successfully carried out this stunt at the exact same spot 21 years ago. Yet in 2013, Lahiri had attempted the same stunt uh, near the Hooghly River. And apparently that had gone um, wrong. He was apparently assaulted by uh, a crowd of onlookers who felt cheated because they saw him escape from a locked cage uh, via a door that was clearly visible. He was apparently punched and beaten. His trademark, uh, you know, flowing golden brown wig was pulled off. Uh, and 10 years year earlier, Lahiri had also declared that he planned to, you know, walk the walk on the river um, Hooghly, but that also apparently misfired um, and he had to abandon that effort. Tell us about the rules and regulations in place. What about the official dam here? What do magicians need to follow certain procedures to ensure that their stunts are ultimately safe? Well, Barish, uh, to the best of my knowledge, I haven't really come across any rules or regulations governing these kinds of uh, stunts. And that is, I think we have to remember that, that magic um, uh, or, or magicians like Lahiri are really a part of a vanishing breed. You know, magic is losing its popularity in India, partially thanks to the internet, which is really kind of promising to make a magician out of everyone. And traditionally, you know, we have to remember most of India's magicians have been street performers, you know, whether it's jugglers, snake charmers, tightrope walkers. And these people have really been pushed out of urban India by a series of laws uh, against, say, child labor, animal cruelty. They've been pushed to the margins. When they do perform, it's in small villages. And those, those performances are often really not subject to any, any safety procedures. Sonia Falnikar reporting for us from Delhi. Thank you very much for that.